Hey, what is up Smooth Skins and Mungos? In this video, I'm going to be showing off more of Vault 64. I want to explore it more, see what else this vault has to offer. Now last time we only got to see a little bit because that video was stretching on longer than I wanted it to be. It turned out to be a 20 minute long tutorial on how to access Vault 64. So this one is going to be mainly focused on exploring this awesome vault. So let's go ahead and check out the repair room. Alright, looks pretty cool. Dad's fix it shop. Small job, one hug. Large job, two hugs. What? You can get your stuff fixed for hugs? Uh, my buddy Jay must have worked on this one because he just put out a game called Dropsy that's all about hugging. Pretty cool. Got all the tools, fusion batteries, fuses, hammers, you know, all the stuff you would see in a repair shop. Let's go down here. Oh, look at this. We got a slot machine. Fallout 3 is starting to feel a little bit more like New Vegas now. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's one credit it. And there we go. Come on, baby. Give me a shit ton of coinage. Ah, oh wait. Hey, quit moving. No. There we go. Alright, that's pretty cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and up here. Oh, we got a barber shop. Don't just get a haircut. Get them all cut. <laughs> cool. We got some empty cases over here. I'm surprised there's no Android or Protectron in here. It's kind of odd. How the hell am I supposed to get my hair cut if there's nobody here to cut my hair? Maybe they're off duty right now. And we also got this place right here. Oh, what the hell is it? Oh, is it like pinball? Damn it. How the fuck are you supposed to work that? I was using the mouse, I was using uh, A and D to move it left and right. It did not work out. I guess you guys will have to figure that out. And then we got the ATM right here to get more coins. So hell yeah, that's pretty cool. We got the shops. So this is basically the services area where you come to have a little fun. Get away from the seri seriousness of the wasteland. With the bowling, the balloon popping, the lounges and whatnot. Alright, let's go explore some more see what else this motherfucker has to offer oh yeah there is one thing I, I would like to mention All right, let's go ahead back up here to the main entrance right quick I gotta show you guys something that I forgot to show you last time so I want to go back to the main entrance alright conference room so we want to go in the conference room over here under the podium there's a vault 64 security hollow disk what it does is it gives you the code you need for the security room which is SpyHard 2077 so now after you do that you want to come out of that bad boy you want to go to the security room which I think is right here yes security room walk up in there and then you can access this and then you can open the cell block door open all the cells. I'm down anybody or anything's in the cells, but you can just do this. Log off. Alright. So now let's go ahead and check it out. So this is where they would put the criminals, the evildoers of Vault 64, or the psychopaths or whatever. And the crazy thing is, the cells look just as comfy as the actual living quarters do. So even though you're a criminal in the vault, you're still living lavish. But like I said, as you can see, well besides this one, I guess this is probably solitary confinement or something. It's just got a nice little cot and a bucket to poop in. Yeah, that's pretty much all that's in this uh, security area. It's pretty cool though. Security living quarters. So I'm guessing this is where the security guards live. See? living just like a criminal all right but anyways just wanted to show you guys that thought it was pretty cool all right now let's head back where we were at before which was in the artrarium now we just got to go downstairs this time we already went upstairs we've seen all the things the upstairs had to offer now we just got to go downstairs 
See, we went that way. Now let's go down here. Oh, nice. Got little flowers growing and whatnot. Oh, shit. Did not mean to do that. But we got a research lab we can enter. Manufacturing we can enter. Uh, a reactor we can enter. Utilities. A uh, computer room. A uh, simulator pod. Hmm. That is very interesting. I think we're going to go ahead and check out the... There goes the living area. We got restrooms and showers. Cool. Alright, so I think we're going to check out the simulator pod after we check out the computer room. I just want to check out this place right quick to see what it looks like. Ah, it's not anything special. Why is it called the computer room? Oh, it's got an alarm switch we can set off if we want to, but why would we want to do that? Oh, what's up in here? Oh, shit, this is the mainframe. Did I just turn off all the, uh... Oh, everything's turning on now. Look at that. Whoa. We're the motherfucking overseers, baby. Look at this. We run this motherfucking vault. Gonna turn everything on. We got computers and shit. Activate. Gain experience. What the hell would that be? Fuck it. Let's do it. I don't know what it does exactly, but we're gonna do it anyway. Try some shit out, man. Alright, pretty cool. Alright, so now we need to just head on back to the simulation pod room or whatever the hell it was called. Yeah, right here. Check this bad boy out. Oh, it's a little spooky down here. Uh-oh. This is the exit. What well, says it? No, exit is this way. I don't know what that is. Another room that just opens up to nothing. All right, let's see what this is exactly. So we got power message. Power plant offline. Hmm. Lacking power, the pod does nothing. Power plant is offline. Hmm. Didn't we just uh, turn on the mainframe? Or did we turn off everything? No, I'm pretty sure we turned on everything because the. Uh, so everything started spinning, the lights started coming on, the engines and whatnot. But I could be wrong. Let's go down here into the utilities room. Alright, so we got the air filtration. And this is a massive vault, guys. Look at this. This is how the air is being pumped through the vault. Flowing accordingly. Check out this. Terminal will not boot up. Hmm. Let's go ahead and get out of here. This is a wee bit depressing. We want to get to the more water. Water control. Eh, no thank you. I like all the different places they've added to this, man. This is a massive vault, guys. Oh, we got the reactor chamber. Hmm. Maybe we need to go down here. This might... This says toxic material. We turn on god mode. That way we don't have to worry about dying. Because I can't show off stuff if I'm dying. Oh, we got fuel rods. Look, another fuel rod. Hmm, I wonder what these fuel rods are for. Another one right there. That's four fuel rods. Rataway, right buff out, mintats. Nice. Suit. Ooh, advanced radiation suit. We don't really need that, though, since we're, um... We're on god, god mode. Oh, sucky sucky now. And we are finding all sorts of, uh, fuel rods. So this must be where we're going to really turn on the vault. Get everything working properly from the looks of it. Alright. we got to go over here. There we go. Look at that. Light breaker. 
Where do I place these rods, though? That's what I would like to figure out. Do I go deep down in there? I don't know, man. This is weird. No, that's water. Why would we want to go in the water? I don't know. Lights. Vector 1 does not contain any fuel rods. What do you mean? I literally have fuel rods, you motherfuckers. I picked up like 50 of them. Look at that. Fuel rods. Look at that. Where do I place the fuel rod? Hmm. Reactor 2. You motherfuckers. Let me let me insert my fuel rod. Diggity. Diggity. Maybe reactors are actually somewhere else. Ah. Is this the reactor room? Not exactly. Man, this place is so irradiated, it's insane. Are these not reactors? Oh, what the fuck, man? Bitch, open back up. Lock me up in this motherfucker. Dude, I got so many fuel rods and it's saying that they don't have fuel rods. Maybe it's just a glitch with a mod, I don't know. It makes sense that I'm coming across all this shit. It's not giving me an option to use them. I'm just picking up every single fuel rod I find. I ain't fucking stopping. Oh, wait a minute. I almost missed that one. Alright, so there's nothing in here in particular. Particular, it was strictly fun. Holy crapola! How many fucking fuel rods do I need? Oh, son of a bitch. Alright, the final section of this building. Still no no option to insert fuel rod. Which I'm finding to be quite confusing. Let's see this. Nope. No option to insert. And there's nothing over here. Damn it. Oh, I could hop that. See? Where the fuck do I insert the rods, you sons of bitches? See, it doesn't say insert or anything. And over here, it just turns on a light. That's all it did was turn on a light. I guess maybe I can go down here. Down here, looking for places that put my rod. <laughs> oh, you can make so many sexual innuendos or puns out of fuel rods. All right, so I don't understand this. Why would I turn it off? That's what I'm not understanding, man. I'm confused. There's three reactors. Then there's this switch. Turns on a green light. Sorry if this uh, exploration is not as exciting as I was hoping for, guys. We got an emergency generator. That's pretty cool. So, I don't know what the fuel rods do, exactly. I think it said something on the actual mod page about the fuel rods, but I really didn't pay too much attention. Maybe I should have before I started recording this video, but it'll be alright. Let's go ahead and check out manufacturing, shall we? Let's go see what they got going. Oh, man. Oh, wait a minute. We do got some enemies, guys. We got some bitch-ass rad roaches so far. Definitely not like in this location. What the hell are they manufacturing in here? Oh, look! Mr. Handy! Reporting for duty, sir. Follow me. Ooh, we got a Vindicator. Nice. Vindicator Mr. Handy. Alright, then we got more boxes. Filled with probably more suits and whatnot. A 
Oh look, this is where the bitch ass fucking roaches are getting in, man. Where they were trying to dig and expand the vault. Yo, look. Even more over here, man. This is creepy. All oh, these are graveyards. So people must have lived here already, dude. People must have already lived here. Yeah, look. Lies William Sampson. Dillard Halbert. Richard Nelson. Uh, George Nelson. And Bob Andrews. Crazy. Those names do not sound familiar, so it just must be... People created specifically... Specifically for this mod. But I like it a lot. Alright, what's up, Mr. Handy? What exactly are we manufacturing in here, Mr. Handy? Is this just where they were trying to expand the vault and nothing else? That's what it's looking like. Because look, another opening. It's a little bit deeper than the rest. Even got some tools, hammers, and whatnot. Hmm. There's a lot of mysteries in this vault I would like to solve, but it'll probably take forever. It's up in here. Hmm. So we found some cockroaches. Mr. Handy Robot. Wow, nothing else in here. What the fuck, man? Let's run. We're going too slow. Let me get the fuck out of here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, look at that. I just turned on the main breaker. Woohoo! Nice. Already been in there. Oh, look. People are actually working now, look. Raise the blinds and shit. I still think the people down in here are androids. Just just doesn't make sense that they'd be surviving. Especially with all the radiation and shit that's going on in here. The weird thing is there's no doors to go inside of these manufacturing rooms. No doors whatsoever. That's another reason I think those motherfuckers are androids. Because they were built inside the room and had... They were either put inside the room and had the rooms built around them. And their main job is to just keep all this shit going. Not positive. It's a mystery we may never figure out. Because there's really not much in the manufacturing area. We got our Vindicator following us. We got dog meat in the Vindicator. Alright, we got a research lab that we haven't entered yet. What the hell, Aquafina? <laughs> That's crazy. We got the showers. Let's just check out the showers. Fuck it. Why not? See what the showers look like in a vault. Ooh, ladies' room. Where the ladies at? This ain't even a shower. This is just a fucking locker room. I want to see the showers, man. I want to see some naked android lady showering. Look, there's, there are no showers. What the hell? Let's go down this way. I want you to eat right and exercise. <laughs> Alright, so we got restrooms, restrooms. No thank you. Exercise. The poor man's plastic surgery. <laughs> hell nah. Oh, look at this. Got little yoga poses and shit you can do. Piriformis stretch, the hip adductor stretch, the quadriceps stretch. Nice. Oh, here we go. Oh, look. They got a nice little swimming pool. Whee! And it's actually clean water. It's not giving me any rads or anything. Oh, shit. We got treadmills. We got weights we can lift. We got a sun chair that we can just chill in. We got dumbbells, we got these little gymnast bars where you can do all those little weird spins and whatnot. We got a ball. Whee! Oh look, diving board. Woohoo! Dude, this is the coolest fucking mod ever. Like, for realsies. This is the coolest mod ever. All the fucking rooms and just activities and shit that you can do in this game. I mean, in this mod. All the funny billboards and whatnot. 
I'm loving it. Alright, now we gotta go and check out the research lab. That was the thing. Oh, look. Where are you going, girl? Get your little sexy Laura Croft looking ass back here. Oh, that's the main entrance. We came in there, so we don't want to go in there. We want to go to the research lab. Here we go. Yeah, I'm just going to be another long video. I'm probably have to split this bad boy up into two parts. Maybe three. I'm checking out everything. All right, now here it goes. The research lab. Nice. It's quite the depressing room, though, even though there's lights on everywhere. Compared to a lot of the other rooms that I've came across. Definitely... Definitely a me melancholic feel. That's that's a good term for this. Just not it's not a place you would want to spend hours of your day in. So I feel bad for the uh, scientists who get put down in here. Doesn't look like there's anything too interesting in this room. It's pretty cool though. Let's exit this bitch. What's up, Mr. Handy? Alright, so we've already checked out pretty much, yeah, all the rooms that were in here. Operations. We've checked it all out. Simulator pod. Oh, wait a minute. Simulator pod should be working now. Because I turned on the main breaker and whatnot. Let's go and check it out. Let's see. Power message. Nope, power plant offline. Hmm. This is really weird, dude. So we can't activate the simulation pod. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that stuff working and then do another video on the simulation pod. Alright, let's go ahead and take the main entrance again. Alright, that's just the upper level. We've already been there. I think that's really all. the only places we can go now, though. Either the security room up here, or the atrium. Lower level and upper level. See, that's the exit. This is just... We can close the door while we're in here if we want to. Which I think is pretty cool. No raiders getting up in this bitch. Mm -mm. Yeah, see the atrium. That way, where they were trying to expand the vault in the security room. Hmm. All right, we'll just go back to the uh, upper atrium. I think there were some doors that I did not enter before. I could be wrong though. Let's go ahead and do that. See, there's doors up here, just as I suspected. So we got, oh, a training room, a clinic. We got a materialization room, storage room, administration room. Let's go ahead and check this bad boy out, shall we? Oh, look at this. We got terminals and whatnot. Oh, a hollow tape. Overseer office key. Nice. Let's check this out right quick. Let's activate. Let's see what can we do in here? Program personal access. Nice. Boom. So now I have access to everything in the vault. Seems to be that way. Bob Andrews. Who is this guy? Bob was a bossy know-it-all bastard that nobody could stand. None of us are sad that he is dead. And none of us care as to the unusual circumstances of his death. We figure him floating we figure him I think they meant to say we found him floating face down in the radioactive water in the reactor chamber with a large bump on his head an accidental death George said he probably bumped it on one of the many pipes in there we drug his ugly carcass into the large cavern in manufacturing where we dumped him into a shallow hole yeah so that's one of the names that we actually seen on one of the graves we checked out so there definitely was people who lived here. It's probably uh, the overseer and some a teleporter. What the fuck? Nothing inside of the display case. We got a picture. 
old timey picture. It must be the overseer and his family, maybe? Hmm. Don't know. We got a clock. Oh, shit. An XP assault rifle. Nice. Cab now. I don't know why I clicked that. It said empty. I need a fucking ammunition. Overseer was making sure that he was staying safe. Alright, cool, cool, cool. What is this? On, 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 on. Oh, shit, look at us. We're, we're toggling everything on. I don't know what we're toggling on, but we're doing stuff. That's what it's all about, doing stuff, baby, baby. Look at this cool picture. Some soldiers in a helicopter trying to help somebody on a crashed ship. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and check out these terminals, shall we? Lock overseer's door, open overseer's tunnel. Activate emergency lights. Reference binary codes. All right, cool. Welcome, overseer. Passcode for the vault will be Seastorm64. Nice. Oh shit! Damn, son, we can even go deeper into this vault now that we're the fucking overseer. Let's head on down here, shall we? Open the door. What do we got? Anything special? Oh, we got a couch. We got a bed. the shells. Oh look, an XP combat shotgun. Nice. What the hell is this? It never ends. Keep going and going and going. Where does this lead to exactly though? Main entrance. Oh. Oh thank you. Let's go back to the overseer's room. I want to go back to the damn main entrance. What was I thinking? Do, 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 do. We're running fast, but it's not fast enough, it seems. Alright, so that's pretty cool. There really wasn't anything too special about the Overseer's lair, other than it leads to the uh, entrance in case shit goes down. Alright, so we found out some cool stuff. We got a new passcode, Overseer's passcode. Alright, so we got storage room we can check out soon, but we also got over here the diner. Nice. We can actually go in here without it loading. Cool. Look at all this. We got Nuka beers, Aquafinas, wine, Quantum, Salisbury steak, um, tables. Oh, look at that. We got ourselves a menu. Cash register, another menu. Uh, attention androids, you will be pleasant and accommodating when the human senators arrive. See, I told you. I fucking knew it. Everybody in here is a damn android. There were a few humans that died and were put into those graves, but that is crazy, dude. That is so cool. Can't really read what that says too well, so I'm not even going to try. Yes? Ooh, what's up, girl? Looking good. So I was correct, man. All the people we see walking around in here. Liberty Prime. Verta Bird. Operation Anchorage. Wow, look at that place. Look, Vault 64. Oh my gosh, dude. This vault is so cool, man. There's just so many hey places there. to go and check out. Fucking androids to kick it with. Right, let's go and check out the bathrooms in here, shall we? Eh. Mm, nothing too special. Hell yeah, dude. I highly recommend this mod. If you haven't been convinced already by watching me play it, I don't know what to tell you. Services? Nah, we don't want to go in there because that's where they got all the, uh, the balloon popping and balloon shooting and shit like that. 
administration. I was already in there, so let's go ahead in here. The storage room. Check this out. Terminal will not boot up. Ammunition boxes. Nice. Look at that. Mesmatron, energy cells, 10 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 44 mag. Damn. Melee pistols, rifles. Holy crap. Aw, oh, shit. Materialization units. Hmm. A whole bunch of terminals. That opens up to the Artrium. Reactor offline. Fuck you, man. I turned on the reactor. I was down there. I know what I did. So that's why we can't access some of the features. It's saying that the reactors are down. But there were three reactors that said that I needed um, those little fuse rods, which I could not get to work for some reason. So I may have to try and get that work in a, in a future video so we can check everything out. All right, look in here. All oh, this is cool, dude. Got a bunch of the little perks on the sides of the terminals. How cool is that? Speech training, science training, repair training. Oh, that is so cool, man. Show current stats. Nice. Small guns. Melee weapons, explosives. Do this. I'm loving this vault so much. It's so fun to just walk around and explore it. Because it's something new, man. It just adds a whole new aspect to the game. Oh, look at this. Is this an actual person? Yeah. Nope, he's an android doctor. Number Bye. 001. See you. And we got a android nurse. Ooh, damn, girl, what the hell are you munching on? You're supposed to be a nurse eating that fatty food. Although we can take anything we want because, you know, they're androids and they don't care. Violence, abuse, motherhood, alt tech. Hello. Oh, look, they got plenty of... Oh, more, nur more nurses. What? They got rooms where they put their patients. Who's this? Hello. Another android doctor. Cool. Operating tables. It's here. No, we can't access that. Dang, dude, this is so cool. This has got to be the greatest mod in all of Fallout 3 history. Seriously. But railsies. But yeah, there you have it, people. I'm sure there's more to explore, but this video's gone on a lot longer than expected. But actually, I should have expected it to go on for pretty long, since there are so many rooms and shit that I wanted to show you guys. But, oh look, an aquarium. What? How did I not see that? That is so cool. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and end the video. Just wanted to show off many aspects of a vault 64 and why you guys should definitely download it and try it out for yourselves now the first video I did was definitely a uh, tutorial to show you how to get here I know it's somewhat of a hassle to have to go through all that just to get into this vault but I'd say it's well worth it in the long run all the different rooms and activities you can partake partake in but uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video hope you enjoyed this one and my previous ones and make sure you hit that subscribe button if you did because there is more to come and share with your buddies have a good night good fight sayonara wastelanders oh look i found nemo come here nemo